I know. She need to be ready. I'm ready now. You know what? <laughs> How's my babies today? But you know what? My son trying to take me through some shit. I don't want to have to hurt him. You know, he think he's too big that I can't uh, take him over my knees and uh, uh, spank his black ass, but I can. Hmm. He's been doing all this exercise and uh, I'm talking about you could do the same thing. Yeah, I can. But not like that. I already got aches and pains. I don't need nothing else to add on to it. Just to walk from here to there or something. I'm telling you, when you get them jerks, irks and pains, let me tell you, I think somebody told us a lie about being senior citizens. Somewhere somebody lied. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Trying to clear my vocal pipes. <laughs> <laughs> so what we got to talk about today, babies? Make sure y'all thumbs up this video and share it on oh, you Facebook know, you know and Twitter. You better now. I won't have to take none of y'all with my knee. Yes, yeah, so make sure y'all thumbs up. And you know how up. much I love you all. And I really do need you to do this for me. Show me how much you love me. Appreciate me. Because I do love you and appreciate you too. <coughs> Alright, so we're going to start. Now, y'all know how I feel about these stories. But here we go. I did not know this man was married to her. Wait, okay, wait. Here we go. I love your words of wisdom and you inspire me to be a better person. However, I've done something awful. I slept with my manager's husband. Before you scold me, hear me out. I did not know this man was married to her. I met him online in a dating service. It was a one-time deal and we played safely, condoms and all. And we never and we never were going to hook up again. I never met this guy before or knew his last name. Just recently, my manager introduced me to her husband, and it was kind of a shock. I could see it in his face, and I know he could see it in mine. My manager didn't seem to notice, nor has treated me any different. The problem is I feel so guilty and out of place when I'm near my manager. I would never purposely sleep with a married man and ruin a family. I felt used and wanted to tell my manager, but at the same time, I don't want to ruin my image professionally and be unemployed and wreck their marriage. She never mentioned her husband at all. I only knew of his name. Never seen his picture. What should I do? Should I be quiet and never speak of it or should I tell her the truth? The guilt is killing me. Her husband and I never spoke again. Since that encounter, he removed his profile online. I assume he may have stopped cheating, but I will never really know. By the way, I am a guy. So sorry if this is too long. Oh shit! I just feel like that. It's like, <laughs> oh shit! What? <laughs> well, that is kind of shitty. But <laughs> hey, look, things happen. <laughs> it could happen to anyone. Best thing for you to do is leave that. Leave it alone. He went on about his business quietly, and you need to go on about your business quietly. Or something. Are not meant to be told. Not that way anyway. So, she don't know. <clears throat> nothing about it. He ain't try to tell her nothing about it. And you shouldn't try to tell her nothing about it. Mind your own business. Everybody makes mistakes. And that was a biggie. But you know what? He who fights and runs away. Lives to fight another day. And what I'm saying is, some, like I said, some things are best left alone. So leave that alone. You, didn't wanna, you don't want to tell her nothing she don't want to hear. Especially that. So uh, just leave it be, baby. Chalk it up to experience. Now you learn from it now. Let me know about it. <laughs> Can you pause? Why? Because I'm asking her a question. You saw my flat broke phone? Yo, that shit. <laughs> Big phone right there? Yeah. <laughs> With the screen all I see you want to look over here? 
it shouldn't be in the college. Well, y'all like interruptions anyway, so. Yeah, that's 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 my grandson. He's uh looking for his telephone. I'm not, you know, I, I've never got a chance to really get into him. <clears throat> but I'm gonna get me one. Hmm. You see what it's like because everybody always tell me, oh, you're so old fashioned. Oh, you gotta get with technology. You just gotta get with it. So I'm gonna try to get with technology and see what it's all about. Ain't damn body gonna call me, no way. You know, but <clears throat> they say you can play games on your phone and a whole lot of other little things. So I'm gonna try it out and see what it's like. But you know what, I just hate picking up things that take your attention when you just sitting there three or four hours playing a damn game. You could have been a fed somebody, you could have been a did something. You gonna take all your time sitting there playing a, a game, something, make your mind like jello? What's wrong with that? Get with it. All right, you ready, son? Let's go. Let's ride this bus. <clears throat> Hi, Mama Scorpion. Love your advice, so I thought I would give it a try. Most mothers tell their kids to go and find love, but my mother tells me to run and hide and duck from love. Ooh, she, she is so negative. Shoot I can't, you, shoot you. She is so negative, I can't take it anymore. Ooh. Yes, I've been hurt, but if I've given up on me, if I haven't given up on me, why should she? I am currently with the man I've known for some time, but never giving him a chance because I automatically put him in the friend zone all these years. I don't know if it will last forever, but for three years he's now. But for three years now he's taking care of me and my kids in every way, but my mom treats him so bad and says rude things. I find him trying so hard to kiss her ass, and it annoys me. And she's not budging. She liked him when he was in the friend zone. So what's her problem now? It will be okay if she was like this only to him. But over the years, I've noticed my mom only likes men when they are out of my life. What should I do? Because I know God doesn't want me to be alone. Hope this wasn't too long. Oh, and my mom is a married woman. No love. Well, all I can say is. She can't live her life through you. And you better not let her. Go on and get him. Swing on him up, down, around, any way you can. And if you can move from there and get your own spot, get it. Because I tell you the worst thing in the world is two women in the house together. And you got a man too, hugging and kissing and pinching and carrying on on you. She got to see that. Well, she might not be getting none of that. You know, when a woman is getting loved by a man who really wants her, she has a different attitude altogether. And it's nice to have somebody to come home to. I don't care if he looks like a squirrel. If he loves you and enjoy being with you, girl, give him a chance. Don't let that stop the way you want to live your life. <coughs> if she's unhappy, there's not too much you can do about that. But don't let it ruin it for you. You don't want to wind up by yourself with a couple kids wondering, where do I go from here? Look, you got somebody, he's good to you, and he loves your children. You can't ask for no more than that. And by the way, he loves you too. Because he wouldn't put up with that gunk from your mama. If he didn't. So, uh, why don't you give him a chance? And just tell her to butt out. Back off. Leave it alone. <clears throat> you know, sometimes even though we're parents, we need to grow up our own selves. And that's her problem. She needs to grow up. Because you know what? So Jesus said, if you don't have love, if you miss the love bus, you ain't got nothing in life. That's the greatest joy in the world. It's to love someone. And to give your love. If you miss that, oh, you done missed the whole thing. Missed the whole show. 
Don't stop doing that. You love your husband. You love him for every, every ounce that he's worth. Love him. Cherish him. Because ain't too many of them out here now. Oh, there's a lot of men out here. But then again, there's not a lot of men. <laughs> Let me know about it. All right. Um, my question is, I'm a 25-year-old man who has been doing good for myself ever since I graduated high school out of foster care. Got a good job and doing good. I have... I have been having conversations with my sister for a while about our biological dad, who I had not had any contact with since I was eight years old. You know, they're some bad kitties. And he wants to catch up on our relationship. <laughs> Are you listening? Yes, I am. Go ahead on. All right, don't be rude to the person right now. I'm not that. being rude. I have not had contact with him since I was eight, and he wants to catch up. And he wants to catch up our lost relationship. But I don't think it will go well. My sister said it will be good. But I got this feeling it won't. What should I do? I have prayed on it. And I have, and I called one day. And he mentioned going out on his boat to fish. And I told him no. Because I don't like him like that. Sorry. but Sorry this is long. But please give me some guidance. That was long ago. Well, what do you want from him? So what? You didn't have him when you was a little boy. Regardless, that's in the past. You can't change the past. Only thing you can change is the future. God has let you wake up in the morning to open your eyes. To always ask someone to forgive you. Can I make this life better for somebody else? So what is the plan? To make him as miserable as he made you? No, wrong for wrong is not right. You give yourself a chance to love him. Give yourself a chance to know him. Go on his boat. Enjoy yourself. At least give it a try. He's willing to make it a try. You make it too. You know what? Greatest thing in the world is love. Ain't that funny? A four-letter word means so many things and so many languages all over the universe. It can take you anywhere. It can do anything for you. It can bring you happiness. It can bring you joy, revelations. Oh, God didn't leave nothing out with that. You give yourself a chance. I love you too. Okay? <laughs> Let me know about Let it. Let me know about it. <laughs> 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 All right. Next question. I'm 16 and I met this dude online. I know it sounds suspect, but we FaceTime like every day for months. And I live in South Carolina and he lives in Florida. FaceTime is when you can talk to each other on the phone and see each other at the same time. Mm -hmm. So we got into a relationship for nine months. Mm -hmm. He was my first ever relationship and I don't get a, a lot of male attention like that. So he really made me happy. Around the 10th month. <laughs> I'm sorry for laughing. Around the 10th month, he said he found a girlfriend at his school and we broke up. We decided to be friends, but he was really mean, so we stopped talking. It really hurt me. I think he was my first love and my first heartbreak. Earlier this month, she broke up with him and started talking to me again. And we were really... The girl broke up with the guy and he started talking to her again. And we were, and we were really good friends again. But today he told me he's had a girlfriend for about a month now. And the cycle has started again. Oh boy. I don't know what to do. I I you wanna know what to do. Don't talk out I wanna still be friends with him. Come on now. You know what to do. And Keep I know alone. there's still feelings between us, but I don't wanna get heartbroken Hit again. The road, Jack. Don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. The road, Jack. Don't you 
come back no more. That's all you gotta do. What you what you gonna be a, a rug for him to wipe his his feet on you? Come on with that. Damn, you done found somebody halfway across the state to wipe their feet on you. And you can do that right in your own state. Come on with that. Leave that alone. Mm -hmm. It was nice knowing it. It was nice while it lasted. But some things just don't last a long time. You'll find another love. Give yourself a chance. Try somebody from your state. <laughs> Let me know. I have been with the same guy for 10 years. He mm. he was my first. Yeah. When we met, I was 21. He was 35. Oh. He told me he had one child. Two years later, I found out he had a total of three. Mm. At the moment, I felt in my heart that I did not want kids with someone who lied about having kids. Mm. We are not married and we have no kids together. Mm. Now I'm just not happy. He uses the, he uses the line... No one will ever love you like I do. I told him we should part ways because I was no longer happy. He's, uh -oh. He said he loves me and he doesn't want to let me go. I don't want to stay and I don't want to leave. I guess I'm afraid that it could be worse. Any advice? You're just scared of what will happen if you do leave. But uh, you don't have any children. I don't say that you can't have any. Why? Haven't you tried to have any? You need to have your own baby. I know it's upsetting when you found out somebody got three or four kids. But let me tell you. I know a friend. She married a dude. And every time he turned around, this dude had another baby. She had a baby and somebody else had a baby. All at the same time. Come find out this man had about 10, 15 kids. She just said howdy duty to each one that came along to treat them all like they were hers. And believe it or not, they know each other. And I'm going to tell you, she didn't let it take her happiness away. She just went on and left. Because she figured if somebody really wants you, they don't have to go out there with this one and that one. You can be satisfied with that person. And it's a great joy to be satisfied with somebody but when it runs out. When the bottle is empty and not a drop in it, it's time to leave. You ain't got to cut, shoot, and stab each other when you break up. You just, you just leave it alone and let it go. Say thanks, but no thanks, no more. That's all. Just being truthful to yourself. Being truthful to each other. You make me miserable, so why shouldn't I make you miserable? Come on with that. You don't have no babies to hold you back. You don't want to got the babies, not you. You can go on and meet somebody else and have you a few more. Or have you a few babies. So, you still have a chance to uh, uh, meet somebody else. Start your life anew if you want to. It's up to you. Pray on that one. But, uh, like I said, it's time to go. That's all. <laughs> Let me know. <coughs> okay. Hello, how are you all? I recently got employed and there's a very attractive manager that works there. I thought nothing of it, but later realized he's engaged. He's been flirting with me since I started. My problem is, is that it's starting to make me uncomfortable. So I try to cut down our conversations and try not to look at him or pay much, pay him much attention. <laughs> I can tell he is aware of my every move and he tries to talk to me whenever he gets a chance and stares. He is in his early 30s. I think he is super hot, but grossed out by his character. There is no sexual harassment, so I'm trying to figure this out without blowing it out of proportion. I also need to figure out a way to respect him because he is still my manager. Peace and love, Anonymous. Well, the best thing for you to do is um, maybe get a, um, if it's a big place, you could get in another department. Or 
find you another job. If you feel that much uncomfortable around him now, because you found out he had another woman, talk to a lot of men who got wives and, and you know, whatever. And, uh, I mean, some real honks. And uh, he's not trying to call him in the bed with you. So he's still respecting you. He probably just likes your company. And you're trying to make more of it than you want to because you like it. Because you want it. You know? Then again, you never know. Maybe he's filling you out to see if you go his way if he turn the other thing loose. So it's all up to you to try to find out what's... Life sometimes can be a mystery. But you know what? It's never boring. How, you know, some things in life are so big, you say to yourself, if everything was the same and everybody is the same, it would be so boring, life wouldn't be worth living. But it is so interesting because you don't know what each day will bring you. You know, and as far as he's concerned, hey, stay there, work your job, and find something else to put your interests on. You know, you upset because he got another woman. But if he didn't have another woman, you'd be batting them eyes and blinking and carrying on and nodding and everything else that you can. So you figure that's standing in your way. But he ain't got no rings on his finger. All saying love and war. So you want to go that way, you can try that too. You know, you want to try to get him for yourself, get him. You think you can get him, get him. If you think he's, he's worthwhile getting. But then again, if you can get him that easy, who else, somebody else might be able to do the same thing. But I found out that most people that have looks were very handsome, or females or, or, or males, a lot of times don't know that they are. Um, pleasant to look at, you know, and um, they don't look at themselves like that. They look in the mirror, they just see themselves. But you know, if that's, that's what you want, you can play that game or you scared to play the game, you know. The game is called life. Take your chances. You don't want to take a chance? Just... Get another store, go find yourself someplace else to work at or whatever. If there's that disturbing to you, you know. Rough. Yeah, that's a rough one. Okay. Let me know. So, uh, this is actually a follow-up. Yeah. Someone says, Dear Mama Scorpion, I wrote you two weeks ago about my sister's husband. So he came to see me in D.C. We hung out and we ended up having sex. Oh, God. I think yeah. she's lying, but I'm going to keep going. <laughs> so he came to see me in D.C. and we hung out. We ended up having sex and he told me he was going to call me when he made it home. But he never called, he never called me, so I called him and, told, and he told me he doesn't think we should see each other anymore. He said he wasn't going to ruin his marriage over me and not to call his job or house anymore. He broke my heart. I feel so used. He promised me all of these things. <laughs> like Get getting, out of here. Like Get getting married and having kids because my sister can't have kids. He even told me he loved me. He really hurt me. Do you think I should call my sister and tell her everything he did to me and how he used me or should I fight for him? You What? <laughs> Bye, girl. I think this is a fake person. Bye. Girl, what is wrong with you? For one thing, you stepped in your sister's. You <coughs> your sister in the bed. So how I mean, why would you hurt your sister? What did she do to you that you should hurt her so? Why would you do that to her? Because you did something you had no business doing? You know, you, you, you don't mess with other people's underwear. Why would I put on my sister's drawers? <laughs> you know, why would I do something like that? Why would I hurt her? Come on, you need, to, you need a lesson in growing up. 
and you need to grow up on that one. What made you think he would do something? You ain't nothing but a thrill. You were nothing but a thrill if you did that. You need to ask God to forgive you. Then forgive yourself and leave it alone. Your sister ain't got nothing to do with it. You hurt, so now you want to hurt her. Oh, girl, be for real. Okay. We don't need to know nothing. No. Grow up on that one. Okay. That's some shit. Here we go. Y'all are crazy. I'm an educated young adult. I'm a God-fearing person. I try to do well by others. I'm in a state of confusion. I need your help. I have been having an emotional affair with my aunt's husband. Oh, my God. Not to mention I am a gay male. <laughs> we haven't slept together, but we kissed. He keeps making passes at me. He says he loves me. We go on romantic dinner dates. And he was my secret valentine. Oh, my God. It's kind of weird, but I'm starting to love him, too. He wants... He wants me to please him in ways that my aunt can't do. What should I do? <laughs> should I tell someone else in my family? Or should I tell my aunt? Should I walk away? I need your advice. This is a male? Yes. <laughs> Leave him wrong. Just... Like I said. Why would you hurt her? You know, it... it... When you fighting with another woman, it's uh, you feel like you got a chance. But when you fight with a man, I mean, not that you don't have a hole just like he got, but I mean, you could actually do the same thing that he do. But um, why would you hurt her? You go out there and go out there and find your own, baby. You don't need no uncle. What you need with them? To hurt somebody in the family. To make everybody in the family say, Ooh, I knew that all the time. Look, if you're out there and you're going to do that thing, go out there and do that thing the right way. Find your own. You don't need to make it no family affair. <laughs> Leave that alone. The sour grapes, anyway. Let me know. That's crazy. Um. These are still all a lot of questions. All right. This is this is the last one. Y'all got to send, if y'all want longer, y'all got to send in more questions. This one's kind of long, but I'm going to read it. It says, hi, my name is Jada, and I'm 18, and I have always felt like my parents do not love me. My father left when I was young, and then my mom left. I was raised by my great-grandparents and always wanted to be with my mom. I stayed with her now and been staying with her since I was 16 because I just wanted to be with her. And plus, she divorced her husband, who always put his hands on me. Uh -uh. And she never said anything, but there is no relationship between us because we do not communicate, which I feel like is very important. I still feel like even though I'm 18, I'm still stuck feeling like a little kid looking for my mother's love. Mm. She don't even listen or get it. She calls me bipolar and crazy and looks at me like something is wrong with me every time I try to talk to her. Now my father wants to say so. He tells me that I will not be anything or make it will make it, I'm starting to believe him. I also deal with low self-esteem, feeling like I'm not pretty like other girls at my school. I look towards people who say they love me and want to be with me. I talk to a female and I don't want to, and I don't want to anymore, but it makes me feel wanted. But I would rather have my mom make me feel that way. She doesn't agree with me talking to her, but she doesn't understand that it's what makes me feel loved. I just feel like I'm, I just feel like giving up on trying to talk to my mom. When I graduate, I just want to, I would just want to stop talking to her and she will not ever see me again. I do not know, I don't know, I want to prove them wrong. 
I don't know if I want to prove them wrong about me not being anything, but now I feel like I, I just want to give up on life, period. I'm just so confused on what to do. Please what the hell are you me. confused about? You ain't nothing but a young puppy. You ain't starting to live your life yet. And you done got confused when you chasing your tail? Huh? You can't have everything you want. Who told you you was going to have everything in life? Did anybody make any promises to you? You do have a mother and you still got a dad. There's a lot of us that ain't even got that. Don't even know what they look like. And you worried about whether she loves you or not? Look, she's probably embarrassed by some of the things she did and said. Some people just don't know how to accept love. Even a hug and a kiss gives them the chills and the willies. Because they're not used to it. It might not be that she don't love you. It's the fact that she just don't know how to give you back the love that you've been trying to give her. Keep on trying to give it to her. Keep on loving her. Keep telling her and one day it'll sink in. Give God a chance to tell him about it. Talk to him about it. He's right there. He's wherever you go, you can talk to him about it. He'll help you with it. You know, we always try to do everything on our own. We think we can um, do this and do that. But you know what? He's always the son of the universe. I don't care who he is, what you call him, what language, where you go. He's the center of this universe. You go and live your life, baby. You're just starting. Go on and do what it is. It's going to college or wherever you're going to go. Do it. You don't let nobody tell you you ain't nothing. Who the hell are they to tell you you not nothing? Maybe they ain't nothing. And they want you to feel the same way that they do. Nothing. You don't let nobody take your happiness and joy from you. God gave you. You wake up every morning. You know a whole lot of people didn't wake up this morning. Nobody can say anything when they don't wake up. But when you can open your eyes and say, forgive me, or say, so-and-so, I love you. I appreciate you. I want to be with you. These are things you can't do if you're dead laying in the grave. You keep on living. Well, nobody still doesn't from you. You get more offensive in life. Give God a chance. Get up and go to church. Let me know now. All right, that was the last time. How much time we got left? That was, that was it. Like that I was all the ones you... Uh, all the ones I got from last week. People sent their questions there. Well, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. You live in this world, but basically, this week everybody talked about it. Uh, creeping. Well, yeah, <laughs> creeping and wanting to be somebody. And who, who do you think you were? You, you, you need to try to know yourself if you don't know who you are. Try to find out more about yourself. Um... Let me say, anything made in the dark will show sure enough come out in the light. Don't hurt somebody because somebody hurts you. Don't step on somebody's back or somebody else's toes. If that person don't know the pain that you're feeling, keep it to yourself. Ask God to help you find somebody else to take that pain from you. But don't hurt them because you've been hurt and you asked for that. Didn't nobody put no gun to your head and ask you to go out there and be with this one and that. You what? You took that chance your own self. You slid around in the dark. When you do things sliding around in the dark, hey, naturally it ain't gonna always turn out the way you want it to turn out. But be more careful about life because life is really dangerous. And there are some people out here 
who can take you here, there, up and down and all around and really rinse you out and make you so that you're not even sure who you are. You need to be more careful about life. Life is really a serious thing. You know, dead, like I said, you can't do nothing in that box but lay there and rot. But alive, you can create so many things. You can bring so much happiness, so much joy. You can love children who have been loved, who have nowhere to go. Yeah, so many. You ever, you ever see them uh, 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 commercials out there where they had the babies? Where nobody want them and kids are waiting for somebody to love them. You'd be surprised if you ever hook up with the organizations that have them there. Or you volunteer your time. Try that. And you will see there are so many people who just need a touch. Just need a hug. Or a kiss. To say, uh, how you doing? Or I appreciate you. Or I know you here. Or I love you. That's such a powerful word. L-O-V-E. Very powerful. Made by our God. So he must be awesome. Because it ricochets through life each and every day of our life. And not to know it. Not to feel it. It's, whew, it's such a brick, such a mystery. But if you walk up on it, it'll, 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 it'll just penetrate you all of a sudden. And all of that that you didn't understand, that door opens for you. And you'll understand immediately. And you'll know why. Give yourself a chance. Find your own thing. Stop wasting with other people's rags and things they want to throw away, their unhappiness and unjoy. And get your own. You know. Uh, see you next time. That's my personal opinion. And uh, I want to see them votes. I want you to push them buttons. I want to see how much you love me or appreciate me. I want to be appreciated too. You know, I miss talking to you. Those times that I, I had it, that I was away. You know, and I, I'm glad to be back with you to let you know I do love you. I, you could be a million miles away, and it ain't nothing like that million mile love. So I'll see you next week. <laughs>